Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is send welcome message on WhatsApp when new lead is added in Lead Square. Now suppose guys you are using Lead Square as a CRM application. Now you are creating some kind of social media campaigns to generate some leads and you are adding all those leads into your Lead Square CRM. So you want whenever a new lead is added in your Lead Square CRM to make a personal touch and to nurture that lead, you want to send them a welcome message on WhatsApp. Now the manual process of getting the details of every new lead adding in Lead Square CRM and sending manually sending a WhatsApp message to that very same lead can be very much repetitive and time consuming. So in this video, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever a new lead will be added in your Lead Square CRM, instantly, automatically, a WhatsApp message will be sent, a welcome message on WhatsApp will be sent to that very same newly added lead. Interesting, right? Now here you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for pabbly, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as lead squared to WhatsApp and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is, first we have to get the details or the data of new lead which are adding on our lead score account in Pavli Connect. Then after that, using Pavli Connect and WhatsApp Cloud API, we will send a welcome message on WhatsApp to those very same leads. So let's begin with our process. So here in trigger window, in choose app, first search for lead square. Lead square it is. And after that, in trigger event, select new lead. After selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we will use this webhook URL to make the connection between lead square and Pavli Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here and follow the help text given below over here. So just go to the dashboard of your lead square account and on after going to the dashboard on the right side we can see profile option. Just hover on it and click on settings. After clicking on settings on the left side we can see multiple options uh, out of which there is the option named as API and webhooks. Click on API and webhooks and select webhooks from here. And at this very same page, you will find all the webhook URL which you have added on your lead square account over here. Just click on create. And after that here it is in the dialog box, it is asking us for some details. So here in event from the drop down, we have to select lead creation. Then after that in the webhook URL from the drop down, select HTTPS select it and paste the very same webhook URL from here and remove the HTTPS prefix from here. Just remove it. After that, the content type will be application slash JSON and execution delay will be of zero seconds. Just click on save. And that's it guys. We have successfully connected our lead square account with Pavli Connect using this webhook URL. Now after that guys, we have to basically create or generate a test lead, a dummy lead in our lead square account so that we can receive the data or the response of that very same lead in Pavli Connect. So first just click on this recapture webhook response button in Pavli Connect. And after that, go to the lead square account and generate a test lead. So we will go to the lead section, manage leads, and let's add, click on this quick add lead button. Let's enter the details of a lead. For example, dummy name, dummy email address, as well as a dummy phone number. So let's enter the country code first and then our dummy mobile number. So whatever mobile number will be, we will enter over here in this field, we will send the WhatsApp message at that, that very same number. 
So this is the mobile number. Let me remove the plus sign over here. Okay. Okay, so after entering the some basic details of this new lead, just click on save and close. So just now we have added a new lead by the name of dummy lead in our lead square account. Now because we have connected Pavli Connect with lead square, we will see that the response or the data of this very same newly added lead will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's check it. We'll go to Pavli Connect and yes guys, here in Pavli Connect workflow, we have received a response over here. And in this response, we will can see the details or the data of that very same person to whom we have just now added as a lead in our lead square account. Means basically the very same test lead, dummy lead, which we have just now created. So we have the same name, same email address and same mobile number. So guys, we have successfully created a new lead in our lead square account. Now after that, we want to send a welcome message on WhatsApp to this very same lead. Now to send the message, we have to add scroll down and click on this add actions tab button. And here in choose app, we have to search for WhatsApp cloud API. WhatsApp cloud API it is. And after that in action event, we have to select send template message. Click on connect, select add new connection. Now here guys, I have already created my own WhatsApp cloud API account. So I will enter the details like the token number, the token ID, sorry, the permanent access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID of my WhatsApp cloud API account. But if you haven't created your cloud API account yet, then guys, we have a separate dedicated video on how you can create your own WhatsApp cloud API account and send WhatsApp message. And the link of that video will be in the description box below. So I will suggest you that you can refer to that video and set up your own WhatsApp cloud API account. And after creating the account, you will reach to this app dashboard page of WhatsApp cloud API. And at this very same page, you will find all the details regarding the connection, like the temporary access token, the phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So just copy this phone number ID from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. Then copy the WhatsApp business account ID and paste the business account ID over here as well. Then it is asking us for the token and the help text below it says enter system user generated permanent token as explained here. So guys, the token which we get on this app dashboard page is a temporary access token, which means this token will expire every 24 hour. But don't worry guys, there is a way by which you can generate a permanent access token which will never expire. So here in help text, at last there is a hyperlink. Just click on it and it will take you to a page on our forum. And at this very same page, you will find all the details regarding WhatsApp Cloud API. How you can set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account, how you can generate the permanent access token and other details as well. So you can refer to this uh, page, this video over here, present over here and generate the permanent access token. And after generating it, just enter that permanent access token over here and click on save to make the connection. I have already made the connection. So I'll click on select existing connection and click on save. Now after clicking on save, we can see that our WhatsApp Cloud API account is now successfully connected. After making the connection, it is asking us for the template name. So here you must be thinking, what are these templates? So templates are basically some predefined WhatsApp messages, which we want to send to our newly generated leads, newly added leads on our lead square account. So guys, to send a WhatsApp message using WhatsApp Cloud API, first we have to create a template message in Cloud API. And after that, we have to get that template approved from Facebook or should I say Meta. And after the approval, we can use that very same template to send the messages to our new leads. So here in the drop down below, you can see a long list of all the templates which we have created, which you have already created in my cloud API account and got them approved. If you want to create your own template, just go to the app dashboard page, scroll down and come to step two. And here in step two, at last you will find a hyperlink. Just click on it and it will take you to a new tab on the WhatsApp template message page over here. And at this very same page, you will find all the templates which you have already created in our WhatsApp Cloud API account. So these are all the templates which I have already created. By clicking on create message template button, you can create your own WhatsApp message template of your choice. And if you don't know how to create a message template, so we have a separate dedicated video on that too, on how you can create message template and what are the features WhatsApp Cloud API offers with the message template. And the link of that video will also be in the description box below. So guys, the template which we are going to use in this video is named as new lead signer. So let's search for that template. 
new lead sign up. Let me open it. And yes, guys, this is the kind of WhatsApp message which I want to send to the new leads which are adding in my lead square CRM. So guys, here you can see this message. So this message says, hi, Akash means basically after hi, I wanted to add the name of the newly added lead. So here in body section, you can see that after hi, I have added a number in double curly braces. So this number in double curly braces is basically a variable, a body field, or should I say a dynamic text. So after hi, I wanted to add the name of the new lead, but the name of the new lead in the WhatsApp message will be keep on changing for every new message sent. So the name of the person will be a dynamic text. So to add this kind of dynamic text in our message template, we add these kind of variables on body fields. We add a number in double curly braces. So after this, after high this message says, thanks for signing up, welcome to, and here you can see another body field, another variable. So after that, we will add the name of the organization, name of our organization. So in preview message, you can see welcome to Pavli. So I have added the name of my organization over here. We are so lucky to have you as a precious user. You will be among the first to, to hear about new arrivals, big events and special offers. If you need any support, don't hesitate to reach out with questions. We would love to hear from you. Regards. So this is the kind of message which I want to send. And in this message, here in variable to body field 2, I wanted to add the name of my organization in, and in body field 1, I want to add the name of the newly generated lead to whom we are sending the WhatsApp message. So new underscore lead underscore sign up. So we will select this very same template over here in Pavli Connect. So after that, we can see that uh, after selecting template, the language code and template ID are automatically detected. We don't have to make any changes over here. Then after that, it is asking us for the recipient mobile number. So in place of this recipient mobile number, we have to basically map the WhatsApp number of the newly generated lead or newly added lead. So guys, uh, we have received the details, the data of new lead, which uh, is added in our lead square CRM from lead square in Pavli Connect. And in these details, we have also received their mobile number, their WhatsApp number. So basically we have to map this very same number over here in this recipient mobile number field. But guys, there is an issue. The issue is the help text below it says enter the recipient mobile number with country code without the plus sign like this. So we have to enter the mobile number of the person with country code, but not without the plus sign. So we have received this mobile number with country code and with plus sign with the 10 digits of mobile number. But we have to the WhatsApp cloud API takes the mobile number without the plus sign. So guys, how we are going to do this? So we will be using text formatter, a feature of Pavli Connect before the WhatsApp cloud API step. So just click on this add action step between lead square and WhatsApp cloud API step. And here in choose app search for text formatter. So text formatter by Pavli is a feature of Pavli Connect using which we will be basically removing this plus sign from this message. So just select text formatter by Pavli and in action event select split text. After that, just click on connect. Then we will just scroll down. Then we can see that it is asking us text to split. So which text we want to split or make the changes of format. So we want to change this number, the response of this mobile number. So we will basically map this very same number over here. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down below, we can see all the responses from lead square. And out of all these responses, select the response of phone number and map it. After mapping the response of phone number, it is asking us for the separator. So the separator will be the plus sign. So we will just enter the plus sign over here in separator and in segment index, we will select all, just select all. And after that, just click on this save and send test request button. So after clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received the mobile number, the very same mobile number, which user has entered in or the which we have received from lead square of a new lead over here in Pavli Connect. Using the text formatter, we, uh, te text formatter is split text, we have removed this plus prime from this number. And now after that, we will basically map this very same number over here in this recipient mobile number field of WhatsApp Cloud API. Just scroll on it and click here. So in the drop down, we can't see any response. Now, because we have added a new step before this step, just click on this connect button and click on save. So using select existing connection, we will just reconnect our WhatsApp Cloud API account. And after that, we will just click on this recipient mobile number field. 
just click on it and from the drop down we can see the response of lead square as well as the responses we receive use after using text formatter so from the responses of text formatter select the response of mobile number and map it then it is asking us body field 1 and body field 2 so basically the very same two body fields which we have created in our template message so in place of body field 1 we wanted to add the name of the newly generated lead so here we will just click and we have received the name from the responses of lead square and out of all these responses select the response of first name so this is the response of first name just select it and map it and in place of body field 2 we wanted to add the name of our organization so i will just add the name of my organization for example pavli and after entering all these details just click on save and send test request after clicking on save and send test request we have received a response over here and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that a whatsapp message with our selected template is now sent on this very same particular number so let's check the whatsapp account of this number let's go to whatsapp and yes guys we can see that on this very same number of that lead we have received a response just open this message we have received a message and this is the very same template message which we have created in whatsapp cloud api so we have we see we basically have the very same name hi dummy name the same name which we have entered of a new lead in our lead square account while adding the lead thanks for signing up welcome to pavli we are so lucky to have you as a precious user you will be among the first to hear about new arrivals big events and special offers if you need any support don't hesitate to reach out with questions we would love to hear from you regards so guys this is the very same template message which we have created in our whatsapp cloud api account template which means the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine now after setting up this automation let's test this automation in real time once let's go to the lead square account and let's another another lead let's add another lead over here for example this time i'll name it as test name a test email address and once again a test mobile number and just click on save and close so just now we have added another lead just a second so just now we have added, added another lead by the name of test name or dummy name or dummy, dummy lead in our lead square crm now because we have created created this automation we will see that the very same phone number which we have added with this lead will receive a whatsapp message with the very same template which we have selected so once again let's check the whatsapp account we'll just scroll down and come to whatsapp and yes guys we can see that just now we have received the whatsapp number whatsapp message on the very same number which we have added with that lead so here we have the message which says hi test basically the very same name of the lead which you have added in our lead square crm then this message says thanks for signing up welcome to pavli and the rest of the template message the very same message which we have created the very same template which we have created in whatsapp cloud api which means the automation which we have created in this video is working guys perfectly fine and we have tested this automation in real time that this automation is smooth and perfect now let's get back to pavli connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation so first we have created a workflow inside pavli connect and in this workflow in trigger application we have selected lead square and new lead was our trigger event then after that using a webhook url we have connected our lead square account with pavli connect then we created or generated a test lead in our lead square crm so that we can get the response or the data of that new lead in pavli connect then after that using the number formatter we have removed the plus sign from the mobile number of that new lead and we have collectively sent all of these data to whatsapp cloud api so that we can send a whatsapp message to this newly generated lead on whatsapp so not just these application guys you can basically connect plenty of other applications using pavli connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone this very same workflow into your own public connect account and use this workflow for free if you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check public and pricing at this link so if this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to pavli thank you have a nice day